I'm Foodies. This is Chef Pete, and you know what? To be a cook or not be a cook, that is the question today. And today, I am going to go through the ingredients of all of the things we need to make Sicilian Milanese pork chops. Pork cutlets done the Sicilian Milanese way. Okay, so here we have Anthony will pan down, and here we have our breaded chops, pounded, ready to go. I have them breaded. I have over here some cannelli beans. Here, some artichoke hearts. Some sliced, beautiful, organic tomatoes I have here today. And in this, I have some sun-dried tomatoes. I have, you can see, some olives, some garlic. I have also some bell peppers that have been roasted about two tablespoons that I chopped up real nice and I've got them to go, salt and pepper. And over here, because what this is going to be our sauce, our, this is our chicken broth, okay? All right, so remember, if you want to do something and you're craving Italian, you need to cook it for your family. Don't go to the restaurant unless you've had a very bad day. And we all have bad days, but try to cook it at home. Make your cutlets. Pound them out, get them breaded with the egg and your flour, or just egg and the breading, okay? And then brown them in your pan, brown them in your pan, alrighty? Get them cooked and put them in your, in your warming oven, put them in your oven and hold them while you make your sauce with all of these things I showed you at the beginning of our short talk. And then all you need to do at the end when you bring it out, is squeeze some lemon on top of these beautiful chops and then pour the sauce on top and enjoy your dinner with a vegetable, a potato, some rice pilaf, and that works, that works really well. So there we have it. Okay, this is Chef Pete. If you haven't turned on your reminders to tell you when we post new food and Meditation videos, please do so. Turn it on for the Heal, Lead, Teach. Because you've subscribed. We can't wait for all of, all of you to subscribe to the Remind.